hello guys welcome back um i hope you guys are doing well today um so you know before i start excuse the noise in the background my son is playing his game he loud as hell and every time i tell him to stop he don't stop but i don't want to just kick him off his game so whatever so if y'all could just excuse the noise then thank you <laughs> but if not i understand so whatever but um so we have when i flip the deck open we have cuffed taken wedding bells one and only and knocked up pregnancy children unexpected so for some of you guys you could be going into a connection here okay and you're getting ready to have a baby here <laughs> okay this could be marriage too some of y'all are getting married and getting you know having a baby that's so sweet okay so that could be for some of you here but um let's tap in collective let's see what's going on okay um how is the metro i said the metro somebody here could work for metro or somebody could be on the bus right now listening to me okay coming from work or wherever you're coming from but i meant to say how is the retrograde the mercury retrograde shadow period treat uh, period treating you all like how are you feeling okay um let me know in the comments how you're feeling i'm feeling good but the energy is weird <laughs> you know if I, I can't really explain it all right but let's get a message guys let's see spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters guys and goddesses please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones returning back to the sender block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through clear concise and precise messages from my collective and protect me as i channel the messages here so this is going to be for any sign, guys. Anybody can watch it. Anybody that needs a message. Okay, make sure you flip and you switch the roles. Okay, don't take what resonate. Don't take what doesn't resonate for you. Leave it for someone else, okay? Not every reading is going to be your reading, okay? So please remember that as you're watching. So let's tap in. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. What does the collective need to hear and know at this time? What is in the current energy? What is going on here? All right, so we got OD, excessive, overdoing it, and hoarding. I mean, hoard, okay. Mm. So something you could be doing in excess here. Somebody could be like, they, they on some drugs or something like that. Let's see, I don't know. Let's see what's, what else. Faded, child. High, drunk, bad habits, and disconnected. I'm telling you, somebody is doing like, they're popping pills here is what I'm getting. Or they're smoking too goddamn much. They're smoking themselves into a damn coma or something like that. Somebody got a bad drug addiction here. Let's see what else. I feel like somebody is trying to get their mind off of some shit. Okay, we got broken here in the reverse. Beyond repra repair, depression, and vulnerable. This could be somebody that doesn't have access to your energy collective and now they just tripping out. Okay, somebody's like tripping. They breaking shit. I feel like somebody's angry, child. They're angry yet caught up. Infidelity, uncontrollable, and play victim. Okay, let's get another card. So broken is in the reverse though, so... We got curved here, deny, reject, and the runner. Somebody's an energy vampire here. Bottom of the deck is swerve, child. You got curved, swerve, <laughs> incompatible, dodge, and this and uninterested, uninterested. Yeah, child. Look, knocked up, pregnancy, children, unexpected, and divine masculine. Okay, Zaddy. It's a divine masculine, assertive, and yang. I'm telling you, somebody getting ready to get you pregnant for them. <laughs> 411 on the timer. I know y'all probably like, oh my God, but I'm just saying. Like, dead ass. So. Let's see. <laughs> my son out here, he's just. <sighs> so let's see. Um, Somebody could ride dirt bikes here. Okay, somebody could drive four wheelers too. Somebody, or you could be getting ready to go like on a dirt bike or you're getting ready to go ride a four-wheeler in a bunch of mud i'm seeing a lot of mud and that's fun <laughs> like, okay but um 
So because you're not broken or because you're not somebody, maybe their 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 whole point was to have you broken and vulnerable in a weak state or depressed and you're not. Somebody else is like, they, they tripping about that. Okay, they tripping because you're not this way. Let's see, what's a OD here? Excessive overdoing it, horde. What's OD? The Nine of Pentacles. What's OD here with the Nine of Pentacles? Virgo Venus. Yeah, you free. You're free from something here, um, collective. Okay, I feel like your business is going up too. Like you have a very successful business. Okay, yeah. <laughs> could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could be a Capricorn and have a Virgo Venus placement. Sagittarius here. So somebody is still holding on to you, too. Regardless, I feel like this person here could be. You could have been in some sort of long-term connection with this person, and I feel like they are, um, give me, give me a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just had to have a little conversation because he too loud. He too damn loud. I can't think. So, um, so yeah, so regardless if you're free or not, somebody's like, no, well, I'm still going to hold on to you. This person here is going through it. It's like they don't have that energetic core anymore and they're like really going through it. Okay, somebody's like, somebody could actually end up ODing. So this, this needs to be looked at. Somebody needs to get help, but... I don't know. It's like they lost you now. They, they don't have control over you or whatever the fuck. And now they, they tripping. Like somebody's doing something in excess here. For some of you guys, you could have done things like this in the past. And they're still holding. They're still trying to throw your past up in your face or whatever the fuck, child. What's the damn Nine of Pentacles? Some of y'all need to stop spending. Okay, two. Nine of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. You can need to hold on to your money. I feel like you you're you have status or you could be very wealthy or you're abundant, but you need to save still. Okay, you need to put some up for saving, like up for a rainy day, I meant. Okay, don't OD with spending and shit like that. What's the nine of pentacles? I'm hearing somebody say, Oh, I I'll get it back. <laughs> okay, big spender. Okay, so the six of swords, Aquarius Mercury. So yeah, this is you moving into peaceful and calm of waters. I feel like you're headed into more prosperity more abundance okay something about your business too could be leveling up or you getting ready to start a business some of y'all are moving from a job and going to be an entrepreneur okay but i feel like you're going into peaceful and calmer waters you're happy you're successful you're abundant some of y'all could be even moving or getting ready to go on a vacation okay but i feel like there's peace and harmony that's coming in or you're moving out of murky waters and, and coming into some sort of abundance with your money or you're moving away from something here to try to keep you stuck or someone to try to keep you stuck you're free and i feel like you're just being peaceful you're graceful nine of pentacles it's just like you're unbothered you're just period so what's the four of pentacles it's like you're getting further and further away from somebody's ass they don't like that not at all yeah the six of pentacles towards moon So this is like um, somebody could be holding on to you because you need their because uh, they need your help or something. This could be somebody from your past, somebody you got kids with. OK, um, Six of Pentacles is like somebody's like stingy or greedy or something like that. Very stingy person. Or this could be you. You need to be greedy and, 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 and hold your stop spending on shit. But let's see what's the somebody don't want to give to somebody. Maybe because they're trying to move into peaceful and calmer waters with you and somebody could be holding back from another person that needs some sort of help or support. Somebody is somebody is losing money to one from the six to the four. So something about someone's money is is decreasing. It's okay, what's what's the Yeah, this is an emotion. This is a vampire here. This person, I'm I'm just saying the 
the the the ace of wands eight of swords and the king of cups this person here powers up off of your energy they like to bind themselves to you here this person could do something with sex they could do some sort of sex magic or like if they masturbate okay or thinking about you or something they need your energy source or something like that okay so, something like that is happening here what's the what's the four of pentacles with the six of pentacles some of y'all could, could need, like, okay, yeah, so something about money. Someone could have a tour of Saturn. So, yeah, somebody here made a bad investment or this is like somebody being frustrated, things being postponed, or um, somebody here didn't read the fine print or something before they did something here with that Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody wants to, like, feels like they wasted their time or they don't want to invest in something no more. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, too, somebody's, like, trying to change tracks. Uh, they're trying, they're trying, somebody's trying to gain control again of you, I feel. And they're trying to use money or they're trying to use, they're trying to be like, oh, I can help you with this and that. Because the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse could talk about um, someone that wants to change, like, a change of plans or something. This could, be, but I feel like too, somebody is like trying to take, take, you know, remove themselves from a situation that they invested in that they're seeing as a bad investment to give to you, but somebody's holding on to them and they stressed out. Somebody's like doing drugs bad or whatever the fuck this is, child. I feel like you're moving on because you ain't got shit to do with it. <laughs> like, that's not your problem. So, somebody is like, somebody here could not want somebody to give to you. I feel like somebody acts out or does things to get someone's attention. They don't want this person giving to you here or something like that. But I feel like you got shit on your own anyways. It's like you don't need that money or nobody else's. What the fuck? What's faded? Yeah, the sun. Okay, yeah. So somebody's... Okay, let's see what's faded here with the sun. Some of y'all need a drink or you need to smoke a little... Smoke a blunt or something. Because you might be just... Okay, yeah, the fool, exactly. The fool, the sun, and the six of cups. Some of y'all need to get 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 drunk a little bit. You know, don't OD, but, I, you know, one, two, three, four on a timer. But I feel like this is child with the sun with the fool is complete freedom. <laughs> like, you are free from something. Leo here, Aquarius, somebody could have, that's opposite, that's sister signs. Somebody could have an Aquarius North Node or a Leo North Node. And obviously the south node is going to be the opposite so that's for somebody but yeah i feel like there's a need for you to get out there have fun do something spontaneous okay with the fool in the sun but i feel like this is just you like being overjoyed you're free you're happy as fuck you're successful you're optimistic about your future okay some of y'all could be definitely getting ready to travel or do something new that you've never done before and somebody else is like yeah because you've disconnected from their ass you're free you're free. What's the sun? Yeah, and then we have the moon. Balance. What's the sun? Okay. Yeah, the four swords. Libra, Jupiter. What's the sun with the four swords? Some of y'all could be getting some sort of messages through your dream state. Okay, something could be being revealed to you through your dream state here. What's the sun with the four swords? Okay, yeah, and the page of cups. Some of y'all are getting ready to be pregnant, child. I'm getting pregnancy too, like... Or you're pregnant like with a new idea here. You have new a new creative um a new creative spark or something like that. Or like um a new creative opportunity. I feel like somebody is stressed out. They're trying to figure out how to apologize to you. They just like, oh my god, you're so happy. I need some of that happiness. <laughs> yeah, the three of swords with the tower. Somebody's like stressed. Ten of wands. They're so stressed out. Whoever this is, child. You could have a child with this person. Or this person is just very childish. But whoever this is, I feel like they played a victim. Okay, like they just played a victim a lot. They need to heal. Somebody could need some sort of spiritual counseling or therapy or something like that. It's like, bitch, if they think they're getting that shit from you, they're not. They need to go on somewhere. 
someone could be like planning a party here or a gathering or some of y'all could be just really really tired it's because you're either pregnant with a new idea that you're getting ready to put out there or this is like you're actually pregnant okay so if you're drinking or something like that maybe stop drinking okay or uh, whatever the fuck right <laughs> disconnect from that kind of shit because honey you're definitely pregnant or something you need to go look okay yeah or it's going to be like this the empress with the damn three swords what's that look like to you 15 15 on the timer so just just relax or something like maybe somebody does have an addiction and they're pregnant and they they won't stop like doing drugs or something like that okay that's that's not good i don't know but um your inner voice could be telling you to like do something here there's a need for you to do it whatever your inner voice is telling you to do if your if your body is telling you to get rest rest okay but there could be some sort of like good news coming to you somebody could be planning an engagement okay like a proposal because this is, could be like planning for the future here you could have like an idea or something that you're trying to get off the ground it's something is just nothing but a dream right now it's a dream you lay down you think about it but you're not actually doing it yet because you're in the planning stages of it but i feel like with the sun i feel like um maybe spirit is trying to get you to move some things around in your life in order for you to get this started yeah the star and the damn north node wow okay yeah definitely stepping into your north node there's something that you're doing that's creative too that is that's i don't know it's going to change the world here this could be something new that you're like inventing or there's something yeah i feel like there's something that needs to be healed first or something that needs to be like um maybe there's a regeneration happening in order for something to move forward there, there's a need for something to kind of like uh, clear out basically So what's what's the fool here? Okay, yeah, the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Venus. Here we got Gem uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like you do have some sort of like idea. Okay, you have some sort of like idea here um guys that you want to do but you have a lot of them though seven of cups with the ace of swords this could be causing like confusion <laughs> you have really good ideas here you're brainstorming but then i feel like you get overwhelmed or confused it's like you think about it then you get stuck again so spirit could be telling you to kind of like you need some sort of inspiration or you need some sort of uplifting or something to give you that that's that grounded energy so maybe y'all need to like go outside in nature or you need to explore or something like that for some of you, though, your dreams could be giving you some sort of clarity and helping you break free or something. Okay. I feel like you have a lot of options and new doors and opportunities opening up for you. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess. Okay. I feel like you're seeing through some sort of illusion or there's going to be some sort of like breakthrough. What's the Seven of Cups? Okay, yeah, somebody... For some of you, if you get, like, if you just have a good time or something, some of y'all need to smoke with the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, or you need to, like, get a little drink in or something. You know, God is not all like that. God is not like how people be thinking, God, oh, if you drink, you're going to sin. I feel like when you OD, you fucking, eight, eight to eight on the timer, You that's a problem. You got to know how to have self-control. For some of you, you're going to find something out when you're high or when you're, like, drunk or something. Something's going to come towards you and it's going to push you forward. Or some of y'all need to get your body moving if there's stuck or stagnant energy, if there's confusion, okay, going on. You're needing to kind of, like, get outside and, like, just... I feel like, too, you're being kind of like a perfectionist. Some of y'all need to lighten up here, okay? You're being a perfectionist about something. You just need to go ahead and do it and everything else will follow behind, okay? Like is what i'm getting to what's the seven of cups okay yeah the two of pentacles in reverse yeah there, there's like indecision okay this is like being inflexible this is like somebody here being inflexible i feel like this too is somebody else's energy they're confused they're lost okay somebody here bit off more than they can chew in a situation or this is you somebody bit off more than they can chew in the situation this could be like somebody overextend themselves or somebody just makes poor financial decisions and now they're confused. They don't know what to do or this is you. <laughs> okay. 
Something is in balance. What's the seven of cups with the two of pentacles in reverse? It's this person or whoever. I don't know. Somebody is tripping. What's seven of cups with the two of pentacles in the reverse? Uh oh. The Empress in the reverse, Taurus, Libra energy. Somebody could definitely be like pregnant or there's like an unwanted pregnancy here. Somebody's trying to fucking smoke or drink the baby away. Okay, that's crazy. But um, this Empress in reverse is someone that's like insecure, lacking confidence here. This is somebody's like baby mama or mother, a mother energy. That's, I was going to say irresponsible. This person here could be over. They tripping. And I feel like you're freeing yourself from this damn person because they're, they're, they're doing too much. Or this is somebody around you trying to free themselves from this person. But they have to deal with this shit. Whoever this false feminine is. A child. This could be a lack of self-care, though. A lack of self-care for you, um, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And this is what's causing the imbalance and the confusion. You're needing to just, like, say, fuck it and go out and do something. There's something that you need to do with the, to balance your energy. So that way you can become clear or this breakthrough can come through. You, you'll be able to, like, feel your way through things and you won't be so confused. What's the Ace of Swords? Okay, because I feel like you got good ideas, but it's just, like... Some sort of truth maybe came out about this damn Empress in reverse. Okay, I don't know. But. The Three of Wands. Yeah, what's the Ace of Swords with the Three of Wands? Uh, yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like procrastination. Somebody procrastinating on something. Or you feel like you don't, you're not educated on it. So you're sitting back waiting. Or... Something like that. For some of you, somebody's like obsessively watching you through some sort of like divination practice. Maybe Tarot here. Okay, or somebody's doing some dark, damn dark magic. But the Page of Pentacles in reverse is definitely like somebody that's a cheater. They're disloyal. They're they're irresponsible. They're unreliable. Just period. What's it? Let me see. Uh, Okay, yeah, the three of wands with the ace of swords. Something about your sense of foresight or your ideas. I feel like are moving forward. There's a breakthrough. Because there was some sort of stagnant energy or something that you've been procrastinating on. And I feel, let me see. What's the page of pentacles in the reverse? The star in reverse. Aquarius. What's page of pentacles in reverse with the star in reverse? The ten of wands in the reverse. Hmm. Somebody here. Someone could have a sad, sad placement. Somebody's like sick. Somebody could be sick or they're like in despair. This could be somebody too. This like it's like something that's hitting a dead end. It's like beating a dead horse here with the ten of wands in reverse. But I'm getting a lot of like chronic fatigue, or this is like all work and no play. Okay, and it's just throwing the energy off. But this could be somebody else's ass. Someone is like lacking inspiration or they're bored or um, they're in despair. They're hopeless. This is like real like like pessimism. Okay, I just, I just feel like this is somebody in your energy that needs to be kicked out of it. Maybe you, you have clarity now. You're setting yourself free from it because this is somebody else playing your energy with they fucked up. Yeah, they problems. It's just like, what the fuck? Cause I feel like you're fine. You have this this breakthrough coming through and everything. I just feel like you're getting your energy back. The page of cups, four of swords, the sun. It's like wherever somebody's been stealing your energy or just in it, it's like it's time for them to leave. You have a devil and the damn hangman here. It's like no. This is not even your fucking energy. What's the uh, what's the broken in reverse? Something has been keeping you stagnant. And somebody's still trying to hold on to it. They need um some sort of supply. They need help. Yeah, no. What's the broken in the reverse? Nine 
Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody mad as hell. Somebody ghosted somebody. The Hermit, the Moon. So they don't even want to be seen, whoever this is. <laughs> somebody is like, no, man. What's broken in the reverse with the, the Chariot here in the reverse? Cancer. Something is out of control, man. Somebody is like really tripping. They're so mad because you're not broken or something can be fixed in your life or somebody. Okay, so maybe there's somebody that wants to reconcile with you or they they want to communicate with you. And somebody else is mad about that. They're so mad that something could actually be fixed. Child. The chariot in reverse talks about hate, like hate winning over love and the night. So I feel like somebody's just mad. Okay, this is like a lack of direction though. Somebody can't live without somebody or they can't do shit without somebody else around. Okay, like something's wrong with someone. Like dead ass. Okay, real shit. What's this chariot in the reverse? Somebody. Uh, what's the chariot in the reverse? This is like forcefulness or aggression. <laughs> Okay, child, damn, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's like doing dark magic. Okay, this is a jealous, hateful ass hoe. Whoever the fuck this is, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse with the chariot in reverse. Somebody here is broke. They're, this person buries for money. They're a gold digger. They're a cheat. They're dishonest. They're all over the place. Disorganized, or this could be you feeling this way. And I feel like that's not your energy. It's somebody else's. Okay, what's what's the chariot in the reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Somebody here, they do too damn much. And I feel like they're attacking another person. They're attacking you, but there's another person that they're attacking too that wants to be with you or wants to say something to you or whatever the fuck here. Yeah, so we got Tempers in the reverse. Somebody could be a Sag Capricorn Cusper. This damn karmic, but it could be you. That's a Sag Capricorn Cus Cusper. Doesn't mean it's your karmic, but I'm saying. I'm just calling out the placements. But um, yeah, somebody is doing something in excess here. The Tempers in the reverse, that's like excessiveness, okay? This could talk about, too, somebody being hasty, okay? Antagonism. Somebody's antagonizing someone. There's discord, dis disharmony somewhere, okay? Somebody's a little bit pissed. All right, let's see. What's a uh, what's the temperance? What are they doing in excess spell work? What's the temperance in the reverse? The moon. What's the temperance in the reverse with the moon? Cancer Pisces. The six of wands. Yeah, somebody like wants attention. I feel like so they're antagonizing someone. Could be you here, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we got this moon and the sun. So somebody here could be trying to like fuck with your emotions. They're trying to antagonize you to, to make your emotions go all over the place. So you can embarrass yourself in public with the six of wands. <laughs> oh, child, somebody is real, real dumb. <laughs> okay, they think they're clever. They're not. 818 on the timer. If you have a platform here, there's something going on with this platform for some of you. Somebody's trying to stop you from getting attention or rewards and recognition, okay? This could be a fake-ass person, too. Somebody that's that's a fake fan of yours or a fake friend. Or they um support they, they act like they support you or whatever, but they don't behind the scenes. They're doing magic on you and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're celebrating your wins in, in private, okay? Or something like that. What's the moon? <laughs> What's the moon? Yeah, the, the six of swords. I mean, the, not the six of swords. The queen of swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're very discerning. I feel like you know what's going on or you're calling something out. Oh, uh, So you could be saying something in public. You're exposing someone's secrets in public. They they hate that. They don't, they don't like it. They mad as hell at you for exposing their ass. <laughs> Whoever this is. Yeah, something that you're saying is shifting someone's perspective. Okay, this we got the King of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be with this King of Pentacles. This person is shifting their perspective here. And they could want to reconcile with you or something. 
okay? They don't want something to be repaired. It's like somebody doesn't want a relationship to actually be fixed when it probably needs to. Y'all got kids or something like that. Somebody's a loser and they're a fucking clown. And I feel like you can see right through the buffoonery. So someone is like doing something in excess. They're trying to like, I feel like they're trying to shadow ban you. They're trying to stop people from seeing, from seeing you or from seeing something that you're saying about their ass. <laughs> Like, they're just being annoying now. Give me, what's the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Okay, the strength card. Yeah. Somebody, somebody trying to amp up this magic. They like, fuck that. I need my secrets to be kept hidden, bitch. Too damn bad. Too late and too bad. What's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse strength card here? Leo energy. Yeah, a troublemaker. Knight of Cups in the reverse. A fucking troublemaker. Somebody just obsessed. They're so obsessed. I feel like this Knight of Cups in the reverse is obsessed with you, but this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Empress in reverse is obsessed with this person. This Knight of Cups in reverse is like somebody that, that has one night stands, okay? They're having, they, they have one night stands. Yeah, somebody's realizing something about a third party. But they're, they're having one night stand. Or they had a one night stand with this person. Somebody is mad if somebody else like wants you or they... It's something like that. Somebody wants someone to be like in this distorted energy or be a troublemaker towards you. Somebody's like trying to block somebody from actually like following their heart and doing the right thing that's crazy somebody's a loser they don't want you and this person to reconcile and i feel like it, this clearly it keeps coming out it's an important relationship okay like y'all could have shit that y'all gotta do or y'all got kids or somebody don't want this person to come towards you at all what's the what's the knight of swords and it could actually be fixed if this person actually come i feel like somebody's keeping someone depressed or fucked up or making it them them i don't know or this could be what they trying to do to you i feel like you're fine i feel like you're that nine of pentacles you're free but this is what someone else is trying to do to someone else and i feel like they're mad because something is coming out it's being exposed and somebody is getting some sort of revelation here and trying to leave and they, they don't want that to happen what's the knight of swords they're a loser yeah the five of cups yeah Somebody's sad. They're upset as fuck. What's the Knight of Swords, Five of Cups? Someone could have a Scorpio Mars placement. Okay, yeah, the Emperor. Mm. Yeah, it's this father figure. Yeah, it's a father figure here, the Emperor. Somebody, like, wants to do the right thing. Or this is your Divine Masculine's karmic baby mama that's like this. They're a weirdo. They're stupid as fuck. It feels like somebody is like framing someone or somebody's like like draining someone at their own expense, okay? It's like somebody's being used or, or set up and they don't even know it. But I feel like I feel like maybe that was the past because maybe now this person sees something, they're like in regret. Somebody could be coming towards you very quick with like communication or they're attacking this fucking person. Somebody's like attacking this emperor or something. This father figure, who's this emperor? The 10 of Pentacles wanted to come out. What's the emperor with the ten of pentacles? I feel like there's, yeah, the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, something is like not working. Something is moving forward. I feel like that there's a masculine here that's obsessed with you too that is in regret or they're sad. You know, they're sitting in sadness here. Somebody here likes to see this person though sad like that, okay? They like, they like to see this person sad You know, this Queen of Pentacles is using someone to attack you. That's what this is. And they're attacking you as well. So, child. There could be, too, like, this could be you and your person going through this, too. Like, this Divine Mask, when they got a sad-ass hoe that's attacking their ass, this Empress in reverse, this stupid hoe, okay? 
And then you got like this queen of pentacles in the reverse that is attacking you because they're with your ex. So it's like maybe your masculine is going through this just like you are or something like that. But the eight of pentacles in the reverse, it's like a bad reputation. This could be like something too that's hitting the dead and it's not working. It's like it's not working here. Someone is like non-committal too, or they, somebody could be married to someone and they're non-committal. They're not focused on this. Somebody's focus is on their 10 of pentacles building or something like that. So somebody's like so mad because they're broken, they're raggedy as fuck. So they're trying to antagonize someone. Okay. Or whatever. And it just feels like somebody too is using someone to attack you constantly. But I feel like they could be trying to like awaken a little bit to come towards you the right way. So yeah, the King of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody here, somebody wants someone to be, to be like mean to you or something. That's meanness here. Somebody wants someone to be mean or or whoever this is is like mean as fuck. What's the eight of pentacles in the reverse? Let me see. Okay. What's the eight of pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, the two of wands. Okay, yeah. Restrictions or fear fear of the unknown. Somebody, child, what the fuck? Somebody's like restricted or stuck somewhere. <sighs> child, this is this is a mess. <laughs> two of ones in reverse too is like somebody trying to decide if they should stay or if they should go somewhere. Or this this could be like the sudden arrival of someone. But let me see. Let me pull some more. What's the eight of pentacles in the reverse? Two of wands in the reverse. Okay, yeah, the nine of wands in the reverse. <laughs> Somebody's like stuck. They're at a stalemate. Something is not working. They're mad as hell. Somebody got a chip on their shoulder. Nine of wands in the reverse is definitely somebody like chronically fatigued. They're drained. But somebody just doesn't want to, they, they don't want to compromise or something. This is a mess. Somebody that's just, they, they, they're not learning from their past mistakes. They're just continuing to do little stupid shit. Yeah, page one, seven one. Somebody could be blocking someone's like communication or something. Or somebody is like saying, oh, I'm not going to let you see your children anymore or some shit like that. All because I feel like somebody's looking for you. That's the thing. They're looking for you or they're watching you. Their focus is not on them, it's on you. <laughs> oh, child. Okay, what's curve here? This should give me a brain fart. What's curved? <laughs> 808 on the clock. Somebody's like so mad. Everybody's so fucking mad. Yeah, the Ace of Damn Pentacles. What's curved here with the Ace of Pentacles? And the Hierophant child. Somebody here is going into a marriage, or this could be like a new, um, a new money making idea, a new opportunity to make money with your spiritual practices for some of you. Okay, or some of y'all could be getting paid through like an institution. This could be like more money coming through. Somebody did shadow ban you. I feel like that's getting ready to lift. Okay, like dead ass. Instead, they're gonna be rejected and denied of something. Just period. You could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be a Taurus. <clears throat> What's this hierophant? Some of y'all could be going on a different platform to do something too. If you do something on a platform is what I just heard. What's the hierophant here? Yeah, nine of cups. Yes, yeah, status, fame, recognition. You could be a spiritualist. A very good, um, very good spiritualist. I feel like you have a lot of ancient wisdom and knowledge. Okay, definitely. You definitely have some sort of status or fame. Okay, or... This is just comfortability. This is prosperity, abundance. I feel like you're right where you're supposed to be. If somebody's trying to run you off somewhere, I feel like that's it. That's a no. Okay, like dead ass. What's the hierophant with the nine of cups? 
for some of you this is a wedding um this is an engagement that's coming up or you could be finding out you're pregnant or this could be a new idea a new money making idea but this could be like a, a proposal of some sort so congrats in advance yeah four of wands confirmation <laughs> what's the hierophant with the nine of cups or somebody's getting ready to be a band ambassador i said band ambassador brand ambassador for for a company okay is what i just heard too what's the hierophant with the nine of cups someone could have a pisces jupiter yeah the devil in the reverse you could just be going into a contract here okay Whatever kind of contract this is, the spirit wants you to go into. But this devil in the reverse is definitely you taking your power back. You're done with the toxicity. You're going into a contract here that is meant for you. And so whoever's trying to come towards you quick or with their drama, I feel like they need to stay over there with it. But this crazy bitch, your, your person's ex, they need to stay over there. It's like a whole bunch of shit going on. And I feel like you're just stepping into a lot of abundance and prosperity and happiness. Okay, like somebody here. This whole reading was about somebody else's drama. Just period. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, child, the High Priestess with the Hierophant, definitely Twin Flames. Okay. Just period. Or this is just you well balanced. But I'm definitely getting... You, you've balanced your practical with your spiritual, for sure. But the High Priestess with the Ace of Pentacles, there could be like a new career path with your work as far as you being a High Priestess. Okay. I feel like you can feel the money coming in or you're you're attracting it just period what's the ace of pentacles with the high priestess we got pisces okay yeah the magician child i'm telling you somebody's psychic abilities here are increasing they're heightening okay or amplifying or whatever somebody's an alchemist here somebody could definitely be a witch here that could be your life path <laughs> okay or you're manifesting this union here they yeah that somebody's in competition with or whatever the fuck child there's a lot of heartbroken ass people out here, honey. They is heartbroken. Okay, they they fucked up, and that's on their ass. Oh well. Oh well. I feel like there's there's just like people trying to attack you and your person. Just period. But something is definitely manifesting here. They're manifesting a lot of new opportunities. And somebody here is getting denied and rejected because I feel like if you're going into this union, that's just what the fuck it is. Somebody's not stopping it. No matter what kind of magic or whatever somebody's trying to do to be a, an obsessed loser or whatever the fuck. It's like, it's not working. So, let's see, collective. Give me some card spirit that's in alignment with this spray for the collective, please. It says, don't allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you. Remember, you will be treated how you allow others to treat you. Show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than you deserve. Okay, period. And you definitely are in your power. So we have one, two, three, four. Good luck. Spirit guides, progress, justice, structures, systems, processes, conditioning, and rules. So it says, you are on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. Yep. So we got 777. Good luck. Contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, and divine intervention. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that may come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. Okay, we have 1111 wish come true moderation patience flowing self-realization manifestation gateway and taking action you're in for a lucky break it may come as happy news experience new opportunities or an exciting acquaintance you will find yourself in the right place at the right time it is not a coincidence but a gift from fate yeah wow something juicy is coming 12 12 so it says persistence shift enthusiasm gratitude contentment new experiences yeah somebody Spirit just said you'll need enthusiasm to do whatever the fuck this is. Okay. <laughs> Where did I just see that at? Right here on 777. Okay, so it says, Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. 
Wow. So we got 444 protection, change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love. Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going toward your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Okay, so you protected. There's a lot of good shit coming in, guys. Okay, so it says, we see that you are on the brink of a breakthrough that you have been patiently waiting for. A situation is about to come full, full circle. The lessons have been learned. This is a win-win situation for you. Trust that we are working behind the scenes to ensure the best outcome for you. Okay, period. It says, be clear about where you are. Oh, it says, be clear about where you are putting your focus right now. Focus on your desired outcome. You have everything within to create the life of your dreams. Stop doubting yourself for once. This is your time. We've got you. Okay, let's get a few more. Let's get a few more. Okay. So we have, if your mindset is fixed, try to free yourself from that and rise above it. Don't place limitations on what you think you can achieve. Don't stand in your own way. Allow yourself to flourish in all ways. Welcome abundance in all forms into your life. So you got 2002, the void, longing, technology, ambition, genius, forward thinking, stress, and depression. Somebody could have Aquarius in their chart here. I'm getting Aquarius strong, or you could be an Aquarius watching. So it says, you have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up. Go outside. Yeah, I just said that. You need to go outside. Okay. <laughs> then we got 666. Six, six. Reflect. Love, affection, compassion, kindness, attention, and self-love. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift toward greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Okay. Bottom of the deck, it says your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Make decisions rationally but sensibly. Okay. So, guys, I hope you got the message. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You got a lot of shit coming. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. So, this was your reading. I hope um, this resonated for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.